following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Monty in Worcester. Hey, Monty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. You know, you guys, over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all the time, and to not only you, but some of the others. Sure. To you know, get an idea where the fish might be biting. As far as your services, they're a bargain. When you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at $35,000 and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all, and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred, and you can get access and ask questions forever, you know, it's a great deal. No, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. If you happen to be in that storm, be safe, folks. You are only responsible for your half of the relationship. There are two halves in every relationship, but you're only responsible for your half of that relationship. It is not up to you to control the other half, respect the other half, and there was always going to be peace in that relationship. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 34, NASDAQ off 24, S&P's down 10, gold contract down $5.90, trading at 1197 an ounce. Silver down eight cents at sixteen dollars and eighty-eight cents an ounce. Platinum down three bucks, nine thirty-six an ounce. You got copper up penny and a half, two sixty-three a pound. Light sweet crude off sixty-nine cents, trading forty-seven dollars seventy-one cents a barrel. The uh, oil market, folks, that baby wants to go after forty-five. Uh, that's the lowest swing point out there. Notes, ten-year note up two ticks, one twenty-two twenty-eight. 30-year bond up 17 ticks, 146.29. Now, both notes and bonds got under their January swing low. Now, the rejected lower price uh, thus far today, and uh, we get some juice going to the upside. We'll see how we come into this close out here. King dollar. King dollar up 410 ticks, trading at 101.650, 605. Uh, the euro is trading at 106 to the U.S. dollar, and the yen is at 114.73 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We've done 43 million shares. You're going into the bar from, November, from uh, March 9th. So March 9th, the low of the bar is 235.74. The high is 237.74. 24. You did 90 million shares. Thus far, we're into this with 43 million. You're rejecting lower price. So bottom line is that that's saying it wants to go topside once again, and that opens up 238.37, which is the low of the high that was generated out here on March 1st. Nas that's on the NASDAQ. We go take a look at the Dow Industrials. Same type of setup in the Dow. You know, the, the high volume data we've had in the last past um, couple weeks, folks, was the downdraft that we had, the small downdraft uh, on March 9th. Now, we're coming into that today, and the indices are coming in with lighter volume. Uh, the NDX 100, however, isn't. If we go over to the NDX 100, you'll see there's some divergence out here. Uh, the divergence being, well, actually, it's not, it's not as much as I thought. So here, check this out. We were at 10 million shares uh, right now. So yesterday, the NDX 100 went up and had 10.7 million shares. Uh, we go down today with 11.3. You're coming into, however, 20 million. So bottom line is that, yeah, we can do 15 million. We'll see where this uh, shakes out, meaning we've hit, we're at 131.25. Uh, this only has to close over 131.02. 131.02 is the high of the low last week on the 9th. The composite, we take a look at the composite, what we have with the NASDAQ composite, same type of setup. Composite's down 20 bucks. You're at 58.54. 58.52 uh, um, 
would be the number. You close over 58.52, bottom line, that's going to go right for the highs once again. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract right now is trading at a price point of 1,200 even. Uh, you've got to 1,210 today. Uh, it's giving it up on price right now. And we'll see whether it's going to you know, go after this uh, 1,198. Uh, when this Fed hike uh, tomorrow at 2 o'clock. So we get the Federal Reserve started their meeting today. You have a statement at 2 o'clock tomorrow. You have a news conference at 2.30. So bottom line, um, you know, the market is expecting a 25 basis points or a quarter point rate hike, short-term rate hike. Uh, bottom line is that it's going to be what's in the statement and what the news conference um, expectation is. And right now, when you're thinking we're only on March 15th tomorrow, uh, you've had two rate hikes, uh, and they claim that they were going to do three within the course of the year. Well, the bottom line is that uh, we're still only in March. Uh, it seems that they could do a lot more than three in the course between uh, March 15th and next December. Ten-year note. What do we have with the note? So the note right now is trading at 122.28. This has to get back inside 123. Now you're close. There's only, you know, it hit 122.31. You get back inside that 123, that's going to say, hey, guess what? You couldn't bang them down. Couldn't bust them down. It's going to go bust the top side once again, which would be the 125 area. We go take a look at the 30-year bond. Now, the 30-year bond has a lot further to go. 30-year bond right now. Is it 146.30? That would have to get back inside 147.21. King dollar. We go over to King dollar. Now, King dollar is up 400 ticks. King dollar still can't handle higher price. Um, this came down fast, furious, all of the above on Friday. Uh, you're doing a bounce here with 20,000 contracts versus uh, downtown with 55,000 contracts. And on top of that, what we did have is that from the February 2nd um, trend up, that broke that trend with conviction. Now, it's going to be pretty cool is that what we are doing right now is that when we broke the trend line, that trend line is, is set up right now. Uh, we're coming right into the backside of it, meaning, you know, you break a trend line, you had wide price spread accelerated volume. You're coming back up and you're testing it. So this is going to be pretty cool watching this whole test uh, shake out, you know, see if it can get back inside the higher level. And we're pretty close to it. It's 101.675. Uh, thus far, we're at 101.620. So as we come into this close, this is going to be a wild close watching this whole thing shake out. The reason I'm saying that is you go over to the small caps, what the IWM has done is this. The IWM has done 25 million shares. You're coming into a B point and you broke the B. Now, I don't think the, the small caps are gonna do another 10 million into the close. They can, however, because what does happen with the small caps is this, is that at the close, this ETF structure throws a huge amount of shares because that's when they're going to basically even the net asset value out. So this one's gonna be an important one to watch because if we do break uh, well, if we do have more than uh, 35 million shares, guess what? That's an ABC structure on the way down. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. TFNN has just launched a special event in Tampa with Tom O'Brien taking place March 18th, sponsored by Nadex. Tom O'Brien will be presenting two workshops for a combined two and a half hours of education, bisecting and dissecting his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. March 18th kicks off with a continental breakfast as we get everyone checked in, and that is followed by two 75-minute workshops with Tom O'Brien. The first workshop from 8.45 until 10 a.m. will cover quality volume, cause and effect, and ABC structures, and the second workshop from 10.15 until 11.30 a.m. will cover swing points, testing, and the Tiger Gartley. Tom will then wrap things up with a question and answer session, which will be followed by a Tiger Luncheon Social on the rooftop of the Westin Hotel. The best part is that it's all free, but you must register to attend. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and to sign up today, and we hope to see you in Tampa on March 18th. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down 36. You get the Nasdaq off 20. S&Ps are down 9. If we take a look at some of the uh, higher volume stocks uh, in this market, and right, thus far it's still actually a low volume market. We have uh, Weatherford is down 31 cents. You had Rite Aid up 14. Intel is uh, flat. You get, uh, let's see. These are all these are all short numbers. Nothing heavy. Uh, Transocean's off 23 cents. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, that oil market. So uh, oil out here, folks, right now is trading down 1.1 percent. You're at 48 dollars 36 cents. This has been as low as uh, 47.71 today. You've done 342,000 contracts. Now the lower end uh, of this consolidation that looks to me like you're going for uh, is down at the 45.78 level. You know, what we have done uh, is that the market itself was trying to get into for quite a while. There was building cause to get into no the November 30th uh, time frame. November 30th was OPEC meeting. That's when oil went from 48 to 52. And then the, the following uh, a week, well, about two weeks from that date, which was on a sad day, uh, they come out and said they're going to tighten down even more, and that's when uh, oil popped all the way up to 57.10. Now, that was the high of OPEC staying there tightening up. Uh, it took about a month and a half for the, to build costs for lower. It started blowing apart last week, goes from 53 to 50. Uh, what we've done out here this morning is that you got to 47.71, uh, and once you're under the 40, 48, 45, 48 dollars, 45 cents, which are under, that was the beginning of the whole move. And so now with that saying, guess what? This thing's going right down to the very uh, bottom of this consolidation. If we take a look and we put this on a continuous contract and pull this back a bit. Yeah, this is trouble in paradise. This is, you know, you're talking, this can hit 42, 42 bucks to 39. It's just going to be interesting watching this thing shake out. Holy cow. Um, yeah. yeah. And what we're doing right now, we're teetering right on the trend line uh, from the uptrend that actually started August of 2016. You know? Uh, that's, that's how this thing uh, shakes out, you know? Because what you have is that uh, and if, if we break this thing with conviction, it that doesn't take much more to do it. It'll be the 46.74 level. 
uh, that is, that is a, hey, guess what? 41 bu bucks is game, which would be pretty intense. Uh, there's, there's no doubt that that thing uh, would be uh, really intense. We're going to take a look at the XLE, the oil and gas equities. Uh, oil and gas equities. The XLE is down 89 cents today. Uh, you're breaking another swing low, and there's volume behind the move. We've done 21.7 million. Uh, the swing is 27 million. That's setting up that uh, this it looks like this contract, I mean, this uh, ETF wants to run down to $66.71. If we go to the XLF, and the XLF, uh, no doubt, tomorrow uh, it's going to be all about the XLF when the statement comes out as well as the news conference. So the XLF, all the financials, they're hanging right at the highs. Uh, they, they had gapped up on the 1st of March. Uh, the bottom of that gap uh, where they came from was $24.55. And that thing's been filling up pretty good and filling up uh, with dramatically lighter volume. So um, it looks like that uh, the financials want to go in and test, at least test the $24.98 level. Uh, we go over to the euro, we take a look at the euro, because what we are going to have, you're going to have the metals, you're going to have the dollar, uh, the euro, the yen, they're all going to be moving like a wildfire, expect, on the aspect of uh, exactly what Yellen has to say. So the euro went topside Friday, big time, went from 105 to 106, almost 107. Uh, you, you pull back. And I don't have the volumes on these, so you can't see how it's pulled back on. Uh, what, do, what we do have is that we do have the volumes on the aspect of the dollar index. And each and every time that that counter trend bounce goes higher, uh, it is dramatically lighter volume. We go take a look at the XAU and the HUI. They're hitting some of these golds and silvers once again today. Um, XAU down $2.48. We're at $77.92. And now I won't get the volume uh, until late tonight, 8 o'clock. You come in, it's a 31 million, 31.1 million. We had gone high with 34. Okay, high with 35 yesterday. Okay, so the volume is going to be important tonight, uh, there's no doubt, uh, in this XAU and the HUI because the swing point for the XAU is $77.62. And we're right there. We're $77.96. Uh, that's the. XAU, we go over to the Gold Bugs Index. We take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. That's down $5.49. You're trading 18239. And okay, so 22 million. Okay, so the last two days, what we do have is the last two days, that push higher had had the volume behind the move. Um, HUI, we're trading 18260 and uh, the 18114. It's going to be a big number, you know. What, is, what had happened last week is that uh, XAU, HUI, all held and held with really um, volume that contracted dramatically. You know, if we take a look at the HUI on a weekly basis, you did 110 million versus 163 million versus 178. So that was a nice hold. Uh, we'll see how this. Uh, announcement's going to come out tomorrow. And in particular, uh, if we go over and we take a look at the, uh, so the spies, bottom line, pulling back on light volume. Q's different ball game. You either get an expansion of volume. Uh, the, I would say the most amount of information that we're going to get off of this market out here today is going to be the small caps. You know, the IWM, we got down to 134.56. It's already come back a whole dollar. Right now, you're only down 64 cents. Uh, you've done 26 million shares. And as I said, I think what you're going to see is that the, yeah, the volume can come in here pretty quick. You know, at, at the close, uh, when, when they straighten out, meaning they get the net asset value uh, at the end of the uh, trading day, what happens is that quite a bit of volume can come in that uh, IWM, and that's going to be that's that's going to be crucial to keep your your head uh, wrapped around. Because if you get the volume, and you get a slight sell-off coming into the close, which you know is real possible here, uh, let me pull up the S and P's so you can see what we're looking at here. So the S and P's, the this is the E mini, right? And of course, each and every day 
you know, you can get a downdraft and they just makes it, works its way all the way back. So the low of today was at 10, 1040. Uh, that low uh, was 2354. Uh, right now, the, you know, it's eight points off the, off the low. What you're going into, this is the number to keep your eye on. It's the 236325. We're right at it. And what that is, folks, that was the second downdraft. So you came down fast and furious right at the open. You did a counter trend bounce. You know, we went from uh, 2354. You bounced all the way back up almost 10 points to 64, and it laid into it again. Now, whoever that seller is, the seller is, is right at that 2363. And we're at 2363. So it's going to be pretty cool. We'll see whether that seller wants to sell right into that market once again as we come into the close. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials. Down 34, Nasdaq's down 18, S&P's are down 9. We're going to be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. If you're looking to unearth a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new market-safe core commodity CD from EverBank. This five-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to four equally weighted commodities, gold, copper, WTI oil, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With no pricing caps, you can potentially earn an unlimited upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across semi-annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no annual percent yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. With certain commodities on the rebound, now is the time to take advantage. The March 23rd funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once more, that's 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 30. You get the NASDAQ uh, off 17. S&Ps are uh, down 850. And when you take a look at these percentages, uh, you know, we're at such high numbers right now. Uh, these percentages uh, were almost flat the market uh, Dow industrials are only down uh, one tenth of one percent you get the s and down three tenths uh, Nasdaq is down uh, three tenths we take a look at some of the uh, larger Dow stocks uh, this is what you have happening uh, we have the American Express up 52 cents uh, big blue is down 66 Honeywell is off a buck you have Boeing down uh, 21 cents Caterpillar is off 92 cents Exxon Mobil is down 38 
Let's go take a look at Chevron, CVX. Chevron was the leader this morning uh, of the Dow Industrials. Okay, so Chevron, this is, this is a problem for the oil market. So check this out. Chevron's down a buck 82. You're breaking the swings. Um, and you're breaking them with, uh, yeah, you're breaking with volume. It's an ABC down. Oh, this is going to be interesting watching this shake out. Okay, so check it out. So you had Chevron tops out at $118.99 December 22nd. Does one leg down, gaps away on the 26th of January. We go from 117, two days later at 110. Builds more cars, breaks that whole level with volume. So you got, I think you got multiple ABCs here. This is interesting. Okay, so let's just do this one here. So this one's 114.39. To 108.51, so you, you got six bucks there, which will bring you down to uh, 105. Right now you're at 107. So I, it looks to me like uh, yeah, 105 is game. 105.03, uh, 105.03, folks, is the high of the 28th of October. And as you, when you, what you're going to see, that's that's a high volume spike uh, as that come off the lows. Let's go to Exxon Mobil. We take a look at Exxon Mobil, Exxon, and Chevron, that's the two largest weighting structures inside the S and I mean inside the uh, XLE. Uh, Chevron, I mean Exxon is down from a high of uh, 93 or at 81 right now, and this is uh, this is in tough shape. Let me pull this back a little bit more. Okay, so it's just coming into 80 dollars. So 80 dollars on Exxon. Uh, is the first place that you, you get some, you know, decent, you should have some decent support. We'll see whether it, it's going to shake out that way. Pull this back even further. Yeah, this is a, this is a consolidation that uh, looks to me like you're going to the bottom of the consolidation. When Exxon had broken out in uh, 2014, once it gave that up, it's like, okay, now you're going to start shooting down for the bottom of that consolidation, which is uh, 66 to 71 bucks. And that is on a much longer term uh, chart. And that's, yeah, that's, it, it can't handle higher price. That's what, whatever is going on with uh, good old Exxon, that's what you have. Uh, if we go take a look at a, a few of the uh, rig companies, Transocean, Transocean is trading down uh, 18 cents. That is coming back into its strength. Now, the Transocean has big support at that $11.10. Uh, it was down there, eleven sixty dollars last week. It came off. It, this is going to have to build some cars, but that's where it did go topside from. That was an ABC structure on the way up, goes sideways, and then gives it up on the way down. Uh, Schlumberger, we take a look at Schlumberger. That's the third highest weighting structure uh, inside the XLE. Um, that is down from 88 bucks. You're at 78 right now. And this here, yeah, it's consolidation also. Let's go over to some of the uh, high cap growth stocks. Uh, Amazon, Amazon's still staying, hanging at these highs. You know, Amazon uh, trading out here at 853 bucks right now. Big numbers. Google, Google is trading at uh, 847. That's right, it's as high as. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Facebook just doesn't know what it is to, to basically get into a lower price period. Facebook, go back uh, two months, was at 114, you're at 139. And, uh, you know, the, the, the price spread is very small each and every day, but the bottom line, they're up there. That's, that's how this is shaking out. Uh, Microsoft, we take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft, uh, also, what is Microsoft doing today that's rejecting lower price uh, does have uh, lighter volume. Uh, the IBB, that also is hanging up at the highs. Uh, you're down 264 right now, but the reality is that that baby uh, is hanging at its highs. And uh, in order for the NASDAQ composite to get the lower price, uh, that IBB would have to uh, uh, be getting basically taken apart pretty good in order for that to, to come down. We go take a look at the yen. So the correlation uh, is going to be interesting. Watching uh, the correlation inside the yen tonight. Uh, you know, as we come into the Fed announcement tomorrow. Now, thus far, what happened? 
uh, last Friday, the yen gave it up in spades, went from 115.51 to one US dollar to 114.66. Uh, the yen tried to make a run higher again today and got sold off. Uh, we made it to a price point of 114.88. No, made it to 115.20. Uh, that was testing 115.51 of last Friday. Right now you're at 114.71 to the US dollar, and that correlation uh, flat out has to do uh, with if we get a stronger yen, meaning that you know it goes 100 yen to the US dollar. Bottom line, that's when you see gold going topside. You get a weaker yen, bottom line, gold goes just the opposite way. Let's go take a look at that silver market. So silver out here trading at a price point of $16.91. Now this is going to get intriguing because $16.85 is the lowest swing point that it held last Friday. Now it's come into that with dramatically lighter volume, but bottom line is that uh, $16.85, I want to see that baby hold. Uh, the actual support underneath that is $16.70. Where $16.70 is, folks, that is the uh, low of January 27th. Now, as you come over to our website at TFNM, what you're going to see right on the front page, and it's amazing how quick time does go. Uh, this coming Saturday, um, you have to be in, if you happen to be in Florida, come on over and visit us, okay? Um, you want to take the plane down here? It's beautiful out, folks. We've got the Phillies playing. Uh, you've got the Yankees playing. The Red Sox are about two and a half hours away. I'm going to be doing a, a workshop at the Western Tampa. This is sponsored by Nadex. It's a free workshop. You're going to get a copy of my book, The Art of Time in the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. Uh, the event starts at 7.30 in the morning, 7.30, 8.30, we're checking in. 8.30 to 8.45, Dan Cook from Nadex is going to be speaking. Uh, I will do the first 75 minutes from 8.45 to 10 o'clock. That first uh, 75 minutes are going to be on quality volume, cause and effect, and measured moves in the marketplace. We have a quick break. I'm going to do another 75 minutes, swing points, testing, and then Tiger Gottlieb buys and sells. We're going to take questions. That's going to bring us up to the quarter 12, 12 o'clock area. And then we're going to have a Tiger lunching on the rooftop of the Tampa Bay Western. Uh, it's going to be a cash bar. We'll take care of uh, all the food and the lunching. So check it out in the front page of TFNN. You get a lot of Tigers and Tigresses, not only from Florida, but coming down uh, kind of uh, throughout the whole East Coast. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. You'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now, down 35, NASDAQ off 18, S&P's off 9.5. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now at on 40. Nasdaq's off 20. SPs are off 10. And we get a special guest today, folks. We're going to go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck. And of course, don't forget, every Tuesday, Thursday, Andy's got an outstanding show right here, 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the Technomento Commodity Report. The way you can get his newsletter and test drive it 30 days absolutely free is you come over to our website at TFNN, go to Newsletters, go to Trading Newsletters, you'll see the Technomento Commodity Report. You can test drive it 30 days absolutely free. And when I say uh, nice special guest, uh, you are going to have a treat. Andy is going to be doing my show uh, today, um, 4 to 5. Uh, uh, so that's a beautiful thing. He has just moved, and he's got new digs, and that's a beautiful thing. Andy, Andy Heck, what's going on? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good, man. Well, congratulations. I know, big move, right? A lot of work. Yeah, big move. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> but I got, I got everything in order, and... Um, it's good to be back, certainly. Looking Great forward to, to doing my show an hour early today. Yeah. Um, and uh, while I was gone, lots of action, huh? Uh, well, in some ways, yes. In some ways, no. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you know, it's, you know, I mean, gold held, silver held. We'll see whether they hold tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think, look, I'm looking at, the, I got this uh, weekly chart of the long bond up here, and yep. that kind of gave it up. Oh, yeah. Straight trading near the lows and interest right. rates are probably going up tomorrow and you know if we look we look over at the gold i i, I would say that you know it looks like uh when they when they announce 25 basis point hike we're going to take a look at 1182 yeah this, this the level 97 that's hey, listen it's gonna this announcement is going to have everything to do with folks are they going to go up you know four or five six times in 2017 versus three which yeah. they're saying yeah, tomorrow's move is baked in, you know? Yeah, well, tomorrow's the, move is, I guess, the the statement's not, though, right? That's, that's right, the kicker. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Right, exactly, exactly. And I, I actually think that you'll hear the word gradual in the statement, you know, so as not to upset markets tomorrow. And we could see it a spike down and a, and a rebound, you know? Oh, yeah, it's listen, the I, it's, the, the volatility is going to be here coming up to it. There's no doubt absolutely, about it. And, absolutely. And on it, yeah. Right. So I'm looking for like 1670 in silver, you know, 1182 or so in gold, maybe on the statement tomorrow. Um, oil's another ball game. I mean, that yeah. thing, he traded in a four dollar fifty three cent range from December 19th through basically um, last week, uh, March 8th or so. We broke down and uh, we continue to break here and open interest is not coming down. So uh, very interesting, but you will see a slowdown in U.S. production. Uh, I think that, you know, I think that the first level, 45, we're going to get down to 45.18. We want to test that or, or near it. It would be nice if it held above there because it would be a higher low, but uh, time will tell. Yeah, and, and it's, 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 
It's really intriguing. You know, I brought up that continuous contract, Andy, right? And, mm -hmm. you know, I can see the 45, but it's like, man, 42 sticking out there. If we get to 42, people are going to start freaking again in the oil business. I mean, oh, that's, they will. that's pretty they intense. Will. OPEC, man, OPEC will have to cut again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no yeah. question. The Saudis have to because they got this IPO. Hey, in 2016, 2018 yeah. sounded a long way away. But right now, it doesn't sound too far into the future. No, it doesn't. And when, right. I, when Andy's talking about folks, this is going to be, I believe, one of the largest IPOs ever, right? They, they, they oh, the largest a, in history. By, they have to hold that oil stock, I mean, oil price up as close as they can get to 50 bucks, probably. You know what I mean? Yes. In order do. to get and what they a, need, right? Yeah. It is a trillion with a T dollar valuation, perhaps. Wow. That's yeah, intense. Yeah, I mean, that's massive. They're only going to sell 5%, but if they get a good price, I, I would say they'll lean it in, into it a little bit more. Oh, you know they will. Yeah. Oh, they will. Right. Love to. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Not like pushing that so, paper out. <laughs> right. Exactly. So the other one, the wild one, is natural gas, as yeah. always. You know, we got up to three. We got up technically to exactly the right number. You know, there was this little gap up at 309 on the charts. We 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 got right up to that that level, that 309 level, a tenth of a penny below there. And now we're going the other way. And I got to tell you, we're going to have a draw, probably 56 BCF on Friday. Next week, we'll have a bigger draw because of this blizzard. Yeah. Uh, I think we're both glad we're not in our native uh, yes. places. Today. No, no doubt. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, I send prayers out to everyone up there where they're getting buried. Um, but, you know, natural gas, you know, this is the it it it, it rallied. Because of the weather, it also rallied because of this big short position in the market, uh, highest level since 2013, and now it's coming down. And you know what? Uh, after this blizzard's over, it might not stop. We we might have I, some more downside here in natural gas. Yeah, I know you can see it. Listen, I mean, you know, we're talking, you know, March 14th today, right? It's like, okay, give me, give me a break. You know, it's... You know, spring's coming, right? <laughs> spring's coming. We turned the clocks uh, yeah. ahead. We, we did everything. So, yeah. you know, the next thing is spring and the next thing is hot weather. Yeah, exactly. So the other one I wanted to point out, uh, Tom, is um, cocoa. Okay. Because cocoa looks like it made a nice bottom here. We came within two bucks of the lows made in 2008. The low was 1867. Yeah. We got down to 1869 back on March the 2nd. And now we're up at 2050 again. It has good juice. A bit below there. Yeah, it has some that real looks, juice behind the move, right? Yeah, that looks good to me. If we can make it above this level, this 2273, this thing is going to break the pattern. Well, you know, it's got to get above 2060 to break the pattern of lower highs, and that's the first step. But um, this thing, this thing is in dire need of a recovery rally. Yeah, it looks to me like uh, I might start trading this again. I, you know, I haven't traded this for a long time, but. Yeah, I can see 22, 21 coming on pretty quick. I mean, yeah, it, I can see it quickly. Yeah, what happened, folks, is that you know, the last two days, well, yesterday in particular, it broke that downtrend line, and that's quite yes. a line. I mean, it's, yes, you quite know, a line. Yeah, quite a line that's been in place for a long time. I mean, right. this thing started dosing last uh, July, right after the pre-exit. And the amazing part, folks, and Andy and I were on the air this day too, is that the low is Valentine's Day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that, I remember the, the, that so the well. The low on the continuous. Let's go to the continuous contract. It was. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It was that week. I'm not sure if it was the. Well, uh, 14th I, I, or the 15th. I have the yeah the 15th. I have it at eight uh, 1890 a ton, and the 14th 1893 a ton. So yeah right. yeah so. Right. But hey, right around there, which, you know, it's so funny because it's the time of the year, peak demand. Right, right. So, and, and it was at its low. Isn't that crazy? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But, you know, look, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. Copper's also interesting, Tom, because, you know, you got this strike that continues to go on at Escondida. Yeah. So, you know, uh, that 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 could could cause copper to go back up into the 270 to 280 range here. That's done pretty well today. It's bucking the other metals, that's for sure. Yeah. And so, uh, what do you think about the dollar? The dollar, well, tomorrow's going to be an interesting day for the dollar. You yeah. know how it reacts to Yellen? It actually it's I look at the pivot point for the dollar right here, 10060. We're above that. We spent some time below it. Um, you know, currencies tend not to move in a straight line. If we look at historical volatility on the dollar, it's down at 6.85%. And that tells you that this is not something that's going to zoom one way or zoom the other way. So, so 
I, I'd say we'll probably try a new high above 102.20. This 103.815 level that we reached in the beginning of January, that still stands out as critical resistance. But above there, Tom, you know, on the long-term chart, if I could put that up, it's 109.75. I'm, I'm, I'm going for 99. <laughs> That's a beautiful way, thing. You know what? Hey, that, would, that would be good for gold. Hey, welcome back, man. It's so great Thank having you, you back. And, folks, Andy's going to be coming right up with you 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock today. Thanks, man. Looking forward to it. Thanks. Okay, great. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is uh, down 37. You get the Nasdaq off 18. S&Ps are uh, down 9. And, uh, you know, you may have seen that news last night. Uh, so uh, on Valiant Pharmaceutical, folks, that's trading down $1.33 or $10.78. And one of the largest fund managers that uh, has taken quite a beating, uh, he sold out all the rest of his shares last night. And if you take a look at uh, Valiant, um, it's going to be wild watching this whole thing shake out because this company is on a larger ABC structure on the way down to go out of business. And now you get a, a second smaller one to go out of business. So this one here, the A point is 16.95, your B is 11, so you get five bucks. Well, that gets it down to $7.55. The larger one, however, uh, is on the monthly basis. And this is pretty amazing. This, this equity went from $263, folks, and it's at $10.78. Um, that had broken the, the B of this monster ABC down uh, February of 2016. And so we'll see where it shakes out. But right now, um, technically, 
it's it's set up to basically go out of business. Uh, so we'll see what the debt level is versus uh, what they can push out. But I expect that when you have, uh, I believe he sold, uh, I mean, he was buying on the way down. It was, it was a mess. Uh, let me see how many shares. It's, I think, 23 million shares. He took a $3 billion loss. It was a big, it was a big number. Um, and you, get, you have to ask yourself, you, you took the beating all the way down. Um, it's like, okay, so you took that type of beating down. You know, you are getting something back, which is really important. Uh, but when I was just looking at that ABC structure on the way down to him, saying to myself, okay, he's getting $10.82 back. Or that, that, he sold at $11, okay? So he's getting $11 back. Now, $11 is better than nothing. But when you took that type of a beating and he was on the board and he knows the, the company inside out, well, what does that mean? Well, you know what? That means to me that he also is thinking that, guess what? $11 is better than nothing, you know? So, you know, we'll see where that does uh, shake out. If we take a look at the volumes coming into the close out here on the NYSE, right now you're dealing with 562, so that's going to come in about 750. We take a look at the NASDAQ uh, composite. That's a 1.5, so that'll come in about 1.8. The small caps are the ones you want to keep your eye on. So the IWM, uh, we are trading right now 135.63, uh, 27 million shares. It would need more than 35 million. So you, you need quite a bit of coming into the close. What it did do, it got under the swing point from last week. And thus far, it's rejected the lower swing. That lower swing is 134.89. Uh, if, in fact, we get the volume come in, if that volume comes in over 35 million, then you have your complex ABC structure on the way down. If it doesn't come in, you have a rejection of lower price with lighter volume, and I would say flat out, this thing wants to bounce once again. You know, so what we are going to have is that you're going to have some good volatility tomorrow. One of our, our tigers in the, in the den um, he's, he, this is pretty cool. There's going to be a lot of action before uh, 2 o'clock. Thanks, Jay. You got the CPI uh, and retail sales. Uh, you got the CPI and retail sales coming out tomorrow morning at 8.30. You got the uh, uh, Empire Manufacturing uh, business in, in numbers coming out. We have the oil numbers at 10.30. Uh, you got the NAHB housing index coming out, and that's all before 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So there's, <laughs> there is going to be uh, some action out here tomorrow. And then, of course, at 2 o'clock, uh, the Fed meeting started today. 2 o'clock tomorrow, you're going to get a statement. 2.30 tomorrow afternoon, you are going to get a, a, new, a news conference. Uh, bottom line, lots of action. You stay right there, our man, Mr. Andy Heck's going to be coming up next with your growling a problem with your folks. Always remember, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership on the fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Stay right there. Andy's coming right up. Have a great one. Have a safe one. <laughs> Go get him, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.